Ah, yes, it is that time of year again. We get the luck to be joined by NBC's Steve Kornacki. Once again, going from projecting political races to the NFL playoff races with some help from Pro Football Focus. Of course, Steve, a Groton Mass native. The big question around here in your hometown is, what are the Patriots' chances of landing that coveted number one seed in the AFC? Yeah, I, I can't believe it when you think back to the <laughs> middle of October that we'd be talking about this at the end of the season. Can the Pats get the number one seed? Let's show you how things stack up right now. What you're seeing, these are just the chances of making the playoffs right now. And you can see actually Kansas City with that Thursday night win over the Rams. They now have played a game more than everybody. They, for the moment at least, move into that top spot with 10 wins. But we know Kansas City, New England, Tennessee, they're going to be in. The question is who, is who gets number one. So let's look at those three and specifically at the number one seed. And actually what you see, despite Kansas City at least temporarily taking that top spot, it's New England at 37% right now with the best chance in the AFC of landing the top seed, then the Chiefs, then Tennessee. Why do the Patriots have the advantage? There are two reasons right now, two main reasons. Number one is when you get a pile up here, when you get like three teams in the mix, you know, conference record for that top seed usually becomes one of the key tiebreakers. And the Pats right now are 7 and and one in AFC games. Think about it. so many of those losses were to NFC teams. If you're going to lose a game, it's better to lose to the other conference because the tiebreakers lean so much on conference record. Meanwhile, all four of those Kansas City losses are AFC losses. Tennessee has three AFC losses. So that critical tiebreaker, the Pats right now in control against both of the teams. And of course, the Pats have that head-to-head -head win against the Titans earlier in the year. So again, New England with the best chance right now. If they can beat the Colts, they'll move back into first place. And again, if it comes to it, all those tiebreakers are positioned to work in their favor. Jesse, so the Colts don't have a chance to get to that top spot, but I understand that this game is still really big against Indy. So how do your projections for the number one seed change with either a Patriots win or loss against Indy? Yeah, Colts have been hot lately, and if they could get this win, it would dramatically enhance their playoff chances. It would also dramatically decrease the Patriots' chances of that top seed. So, again, we say 37% right now. If the Colts win this game, that number is basically cut in half, and the Pats are down to an 18% shot of the top seed. But it also could work the other way. If the Patriots win, if they go on the road and get a win, that 37 would climb all the way up to about 55%. It would be a better than even chance that New England ends up with the top seed. We can show you, if you just compare what the Pats have left on their schedule with what Kansas City, what Tennessee do, the Patriots, because of those tiebreakers I was describing, they control their own destiny. And some people would look at the schedule and say, hey, maybe at Indianapolis, maybe that's the toughest game left on the schedule for New England. Obviously, the Bills next week, they're no slouches than the Jags. I don't need to tell New England fans, late season in Miami <laughs> can be a little tricky, but on paper, at least, this looks winnable for New England if they can get through this game. And again, they control their own destiny, hence the best chances for them. But the other way it would work is if New England does slip up, next in line to take the top spot would be Tennessee. Tennessee would control the tiebreaker against Kansas City. So if the Pats slip up and Tennessee wins out. Tennessee gets the one. What the Chiefs need is they need New England to slip up in at least a game. They need the Titans to slip up in at least a game. And then in that scenario, if the Colts, excuse me, if the Chiefs win out, then Kansas City will get the number one seed. Well, nobody over here wants to see that. Steve Kornacki, great stuff as always. Thank you very much. You got it.